I need to get a crowbar. This one right here can't sleep through anything. But this one over here can sleep through a tornado, a hurricane, a freight train, anything. Not you though. She talked me into it guys. I said I was not gonna do this. I had everyone on my side, but this one right here, she always gets your way. She got her way this time too, it's okay. She's excited and was, that's all that matters. She's happy. Are you happy? Yeah. Let's go take a look at the damage. Whew. So someone gave her something for free. Someone says, hey, you can use this piece here for a countertop for your bathroom if you want. It's just lying around the house. And we revisited doing this whole project. So we were just gonna paint the RV as you guys can see. Man, doesn't that look good? Now this wall is not done yet, but I would say 60% of the RV is done. And all we have to do now is just paint inside the loft and first i don't know when i'm going to post this video so you guys might, might have already seen all this but all this is being primed and of course all this is being primed too it's like only one coat but we're going into the bathroom and let me show you what we're doing okay so we did have a mirror here or a medicine cabinet which i should say and i just knocked that down it was just kind of held in by some nails and screws but we're going to pretty much redo this probably should have you tell them what you want to do how about you start with this piece down here so this is the free butcher block that I got so we're gonna cut it to fit in this space now yeah. most RVs as far as what I can tell online actually just have like a square or rectangle easy put in kind of um, shape this has several corners it comes here an inch and a half here here, inch and a half here, and then here. And then I'm putting a vessel sink on top with a black faucet, and I'm gonna hang a new mirror, maybe a little hanging plan, and a couple shelves here, and a hand towel to look really good. Yeah, well, one thing I will say she's right about is taking that down has made this already feel a lot bigger. I did knock down our shower, uh, <laughs> Curtain shower process. curtain here in the process, trying to get this down, but all I did is just unscrewed most of the bolts and hammered this thing out. I mean, it was pretty easy, Hannah helped me, and you can kind of see the damage. That ain't going back up there now. Hopefully this turns out good. Well, baby, I just got all my aggression out, so have fun. I'll watch you and see what you do. <laughs> just kidding. Mikey P's gonna help us cut this and fit it in here. I'm gonna buy him a nice big old steak dinner. And yeah, I think from there, we just have to figure out the plumbing and then figure out just you know how to run all this stuff in here so we've never done anything like this before so we're just learning and i don't know how to get this off i'm pretty sure that this is going to have to come off with some force too because it's probably just um nails it's probably just nails yeah this is going to be a beast of a project to do so hopefully we can get it done this weekend and you can have your nice little sink and all that good stuff and yeah you want to show them what you have as for in terms of the sink and everything here are all the boxes so i have this faucet and it's going to go with i'm thinking about doing these tiles in there sure we might have to on this wall yeah we might paint white behind it and then um, maybe do it after and then i got this want to go ahead but we're going to set it up for you guys. Hold on one second. So this is an example of what it's going to look like. We're going to cut this piece to fit all of those corners in our bathroom. And then put this on top of the butcher block. The sink will be here. We have a drain as well. And this is pretty much it. It'll save us a lot of space on the counter. It'll look nice and clean and more open in the bathroom, which is what we wanted. We really wanted counter space. So we're going to gain it with this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to also... Um, put a polyurethane over this. Right now it's just 
raw in its natural state so we will do that as well yep nice yeah hopefully we will get you guys some good footage i'm gonna try to see if my kp can kind of help us with most of this project or at least walk us through how to do it because again i've never done this before but so far i mean it's it's probably not hard a lot of this stuff is really just trial and error and just you know kind of preparing for it and we've done a lot of that so far but it does look good i will say taking down that medicine cabinet the bathroom feels already so much bigger and like hannah said counter space is big and we, now that we're living this thing full time you know this is kind of like testing water for us if we ever do go on a road full time for a year or two whatever if we ever decide to do it it would really help us to be able to feel like this is really like a home for us so looking forward to seeing how this all turns out i'm actually kind of getting excited to see how everything's coming together because it does look good just kind of seeing it here and yeah. yeah hopefully everything turns out good for us and if it doesn't well i guess we'll be buying a new keystone cougar <laughs> just kidding or i'll hear about it for the next many many months but yeah, ladies, it's not true don't give up don't give up ladies don't give up if you have a vision let your husband sink it in show him your pinterest boards and <laughs> show him what it could look like yeah buy some stuff i've bought stuff and returned it buy it and just let him see it in person and then he'll come around yeah Whew. man this is a lot of work i mean but don't you guys love what's going on in here like it looks so good what's up you two welcome back to the channel look what i have today What's up, boys and girls? All right, so as you guys saw in the last video, Mikey's here to help us knock out this bathroom. So Hannah's up here in the loft painting. We're just trying to help out our painters. You know, it's unfortunately they're a little bit older, and we gotta we gotta get moving. So we try to get this done. I mean, you see our house; it looks like a mess in here. Now I just took off the bathroom sink. As you guys know, yesterday, Hannah and I are about to redo this bathroom. Mikey's gonna help us. Um, kind of get this piece of wood fitted here so we're gonna go ahead and take this off I kind of got to go and get all this glue off here too so hopefully this would be pretty easy but Mikey you know hey I ain't gonna lie bro I don't know what I'm doing as you can see I got water dropping on the floor as we speak where's that come from oh there you yeah, go put, where, where your washers at yeah let me go ahead and get the washers the we'll be right back i gotta fix this real quick hold on okay guys so we are pretty much done taking off the countertop it was just held on by some screws there was a little bit of glue that we had to pretty much cut loose and then they just had these had a bunch of little nails in there too so we're gonna go ahead and cut the wood that we bought or that Hannah got for free i should say and yeah i mean look at where we are so far i mean we are almost at the tail end of this thing i guess you could say I mean, we just have to um just cut the wood and then mount the sink somehow some way and we should be pretty much wrapping this thing up but um yeah like i said i will show you guys as much as i can but we're about to run out of sunlight here soon so we got to try to get as much done as possible so hang tight and we will be right back all right right now mikey's outlining the old sink and we're going to pretty much cut this that way we can see how it's going to measure up when we go put it up against the um, countertop here. So looking forward to how this plays out. For a second, I thought we were only going to use like half of this, but man, look how much space this thing is. Mikey said we should cut off these edges here. This still has like a nice round feel to it and we don't run into this. Now that you say it, look, there's a, like a piece of wood chip here. I'm glad yeah, you said that. It's, you know, even if they keys to hear himself when they say it. True. It's pretty sharp, but... All right, guys, so the, the countertop is taking shape. He just made it two cuts, and he's about to get the jigsaw so he can get these pieces rounded off here, and then it'll be pretty much done.
guys. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Oh, go the other way. You mean flip it? Flip it. What? Yeah. Like this. There you go. There you go. Here we go. Yes. Show what that is. It's perfect right mm -hmm. underneath there. It couldn't have nice. been more thicker. You gotta get your oh yeah, let me get those flat. nails off. Hold on. <laughs> so this is what my wife envisioned right here, guys. So she wanted to get more counter space. And as you can see, this piece of wood, yo dude, good looking out for cutting this too. It looks good. And look at look at those cuts, man. That is boss. So all we have to do now is just get some support for the bottom of it. Just the left side, support it. Yeah, left side. And then uh, put your supply lines back on. And we gotta put the supply lines back on. And hopefully, <sighs> we can have this all back together. But we have to stain this, obviously. And then we have to. Do you think we still need a plumber? No. No, okay, cool. So we should be good to go. We just have to figure out connections here, and then we should be back in business. But hopefully, you guys like what it looks like so far. We'll let you guys see the finished product soon so we are making some really good progress in here yesterday you guys saw this is actually the next day actually you probably don't know that but yesterday mikey p was here he helped us cut this we ripped out the old stuff went perfectly now my wife has this new faucet everything looks awesome the only issue is the new lines that came with it don't fit the, the new plumbing because it's too small. So what do you do when this happens? So this is basically a 3 8 piece here. And the piece that came with the RV is a 1 half. What I had to do was I had to go to the store and I had to buy a straight male connector. That way we can basically fit these lines together. I got this from Lowe's. Be sure to go check that out if you are planning to do this type of renovation to your RV. This is a um, sink that we use, and then this is the faucet. The next thing was, you guys saw yesterday, that this is gonna be too short. So I also went to Lowe's today, also and got this. And all you have to do is just slide it in here. And there you go. All done. We pretty much have everything nice and buttoned up so far. I am really excited to get this behind us. Like I. Yeah, this has been a lot of work. I mean, big shout out to Mikey P. Mikey P has a business. It's called Puloy Home Services. Be sure to check him out. He does really good work. I mean, he can do just about anything. He doesn't like to mess with plumbing, but he can do a lot of stuff. And so far, he's proven that because everything that I've asked him to do, he's been able to do it times two. My wife is going to shorten the sink, unfortunately, too, but she's just going to cut it. You can probably see the line here. She's going to cut it down because she wants it to feel bigger in here. We took down the vanity, as you guys saw. Uh, that was something I did not want to do. I am so glad we took down that vanity. She was completely right about what she said because it just feels so much bigger inside this bathroom. And, you know, we used to hit our head on the vanity, too, because it's just too big or the medicine cabinet, whatever you want to call it. I think it's more that was more like a medicine cabinet. But... Man, like she has such a good eye for this type of stuff. I'm trying to get her to do this type of work because she has an eye for it. And it's time for her to do that. Now you guys can see her really bad spackling on the walls here. Not all her fault. I don't know how to spackle either. So I told her, hey, just put it on the walls. Just make sure you get a good coverage. I'll come back and sand it. But she did a good job. Did a really good job putting this all together. Like she envisioned all this in her head and off of all her, uh, all the posts online. But thank you guys for watching this video and for supporting the channel if you have not done it yet please 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 subscribe to the channel it helps me out you know i get highs and lows on doing this it's a lot of work i mean i've been getting busy with work too so having to push these videos out have been a challenge for me so be sure to check that subscribe button and turn on your notifications watch the videos thank you so much for watching this channel and i'll see you soon